Hey everybody, welcome back to DSC Healthy Living. I hope y'all are having a wonderful, fantabulous day. I don't even know if fantabulous is a word, but we're going with it. <laughs> okay, um, I want to talk today a little bit about willpower. And willpower is something I hear a lot from my clients about they don't have any. So when I started thinking about this video, it actually kind of mushroomed and it's gonna take a lot more time than 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is break this down into probably a series of like four or five videos. And that way, um, I know how I am. If, I, if it's a video and it's more than 10 minutes, I'm not gonna watch it. I don't have time for all that, right? So I wanna give you some good uh, content and a small amount of time. So we're gonna talk about, the whole series is gonna be about how you actually create willpower. We really, none of us probably have willpower, right? So um, in my experience, it's, it's easier to create it than to have it. So what does that mean really? Um, one thing is a lot of my clients tell me they don't have the willpower to stay on a diet, and I'm air quotes here, um, and they don't, and then that's the number one problem. You don't want to be on a diet. That's not what we want to call it. We want to make sure that we are changing our life. It's a lifestyle change. You cannot diet the rest of your life. If you do, you're, you know, it's never going to be a successful thing. So lifestyle change is what we're looking for. And with that, when I change, I mean, you know, people hate it. I mean, I hate change. Um, but then, if you think about change, people who really learn to deal with change have uh, a much easier, less stressful life, in my opinion. And what has happened these past two years is probably the most stressful thing that all of us have been faced with, um, I, I, would, I would think. Uh, a lot of people may disagree, but it, it was a very stressful, it still is stressful. For some people, but um, it changed. Um, it just it changed everything for us. So, if you think about people that you know personally that thrived through this and or through the the COVID issue, and you think about people who did not. Uh, now I'm not talking about the illness itself. We know a lot of people lost their lives, and I'm not talking about that. I'm talking more about how it affected your day to day life now and in that day I mean, losing someone definitely affected that but just in general how it affected as far as working from you know you going to work we didn't go to work we didn't socialize we didn't um um we're not we weren't around people that much and that's what i'm talking about how that changed um, our lives so if you think like for instance i i'll use me for an example um i and I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but you may not have seen that. And if you don't know me, um, I was a Pure Romance consultant for uh, about 20 years. And if you're not familiar with uh, Pure Romance, basically that's an in-home party plan for adult women. And we educated women about their uh, sexuality. So that was, um, for me, not being able to do parties. So it's like I said, it's an in-home party plan. So most of the time I was at home, I worked from home anyway. So the only time I was out and about was when I would go usually Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night and do shows or parties, whatever you wanna call them. So that cut that out for me. And in doing so, it made me realize how much I had missed, even though that we weren't getting to go out and be around everybody like for cookouts and whatnot. Um, it still made me realize once everything started kind of opening back up and it's like people would call, hey, you wanna come up, wanna have a cookout? We'll be outside, you know? And it's like, oh yeah, we can come because I didn't have a party. Um, and that really struck home to me. So for me, that was a big change, but the, the other aspect of that was because I was used to working from home during the week most of the time, uh, that that didn't affect me. So, um, this is good and bad. But it did make me really um, do a lot of self-thinking and self-discovery and, and what I actually um, 
you know, what I wanted to do because I wanted to stay home and be at home. So I could do things with Caitlin and Matt on the weekends. Um, so, and that also made me realize too how miserable I was. So that's when I started my health journey was in the midst of COVID. So that was kind of a lot easier too for me because I wasn't going out to restaurants because we couldn't. Um, so that helped with that, but we never ate out much anyway. Um, but it did make me realize what my weight and my health was doing to keep me from doing things. And I had mentioned this again before on one of the other videos. Uh, it's just a good example. And if you know, you know. But if you've ever traveled, been on an airplane, and you have to ask for an extender for the seat belt, it's embarrassing. And if you, um, when we would go to Carowinds and we were going to ride rides, you know, uh, great, I love rides. But then I would tell Caitlin I didn't like it because I was afraid I wouldn't fit in the seat. So things like that, you really start thinking about your life and how things affect you. So you wonder what I'm talking about. I'm kind of going a long way around this, but what I'm asking you to do uh, with this video, we're going to dissect your life and uh, figure out how we can actually interject uh, willpower into your life. So we're going to create it. And uh, by doing that, we have to dissect what you're going through first. So. And um, so we're going to un eliminate the unhealthy temptations, which um, and that's going to, and especially when they make you more vulnerable to poor choices. So that is uh, typically when you're starting to make a lifestyle change. That's when it's, you're going to be more vulnerable because you want to go back to those old habits and old ways. So we want to eliminate anything that would keep you from doing that. So, you know, and our choices are what determines, that's, our choices is what makes our life go around. Um, you think about all of us have made choices in the past that we are not proud of. And there's nothing we can do about those. They're in the past, right? So don't even worry a thing about them. Don't even think about it, you know? Think about today. What can you change today that will help you be a better person tomorrow? And yeah, I'm talking about health, in, but this is just in general. I mean, what is one thing, one small thing that you can do today that's gonna help you feel better tomorrow? Um, you know, think about that. Um, but anyway, so now if you love every aspect of your life, you are completely 100% happy, there is nothing in this world that you would change about your life, I challenge you to think again, but, um, then don't change anything, you know? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just keep on going like you are. More power to you. Um, but if not, that that one change can, can really make a big difference just for that one little step each day. And that's what you gotta look at. You don't wanna say, okay, I wanna lose 100 pounds and I wanna lose that by the end of the year. That's a big goal to look at. We don't wanna look at the end of the year. We wanna look at tomorrow. Um, so like one choice, <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. We, and if you have, are on my Facebook page, I've been trying to do this minimalist thing. I'm trying to get rid of it, everything that we don't need and don't use. So I had, over the years, I had collected those M&M dispensers, have a ton of them. And um, they've been packed up. What, what good are they, right? Um, and of course, I don't want to eat M&Ms now. So I, I don't like, what, what, what the world, you know? Caitlin loves some of them though, so and evidently nobody wanted to buy them either. So we're kind of like, I didn't want to throw them away. So um, instead of buying M&Ms to put in the dispenser, you know, we had this bright idea, hey, why don't we buy pistachios? <laughs> Cause you know, that's a good, good little treat, a uh, good healthy uh, option. So the pistachios work just fine in the dispensers. So we're gonna keep them and then we'll set one out for every holiday and or every whatever. So that way, um, you know, we made a choice not to buy M&Ms, we bought pistachios, simple. Same thing with like um, meals. Think about uh, all those quick meals, like we used to be notorious for getting those lasagnas, those frozen lasagnas, and I'd buy a thing of breadsticks, two frozen breadsticks and, you know, a salad. Well, the salad would be a very small salad. We get a big, large portion of the lasagna, breadstick. You know, so that would be a quick, easy meal for us in the evenings. Um, during the week. So instead of buying the lasagna or those pre-made meals like that, you know, buy a pack of fresh chicken 
and some veggies. And it, fresh vegetables are, praise the Lord, it's about season for the uh, farmer's markets open and getting some fresh local vegetables. But uh, in the winter time, it was hard to find some good fresh vegetables. Um, so frozen, if you always let your fresh vegetables go bad, get frozen. But anyway, just get, you know, chicken, make the choice to buy fresh meat or you know, if it's a frozen chicken breast, I don't care, but nothing on it, no sauces, no anything, and, and some veggies. And that way, and I'm messing with my hair, it's in my face, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but uh, that way, you have that option, and uh, you made that choice, and there's the M&Ms, the lasagnas not in the house to eat. Um, so, and this doesn't have to be about food either. You know, I could go a whole different route with this about, um, eliminating things in your life that are not good for you. You know, you, you, you just, you know, toxic people, uh, that can be anybody, that can be even family members sometimes, and we, you know, we can set boundaries and still love people from a distance, and um, it makes your life a whole lot, lot easier. But anyway, like I said, different video, I might do that one day. But, all right, so, buying healthy food, what a concept, <laughs> you know? You buy healthy food, you eat healthy food. Hey, that's, <laughs> That's the first step to having good willpower. Um, so what I want you to do before this next video, I want you to really dissect your life and go through your day. A typical day, everybody, if you are going to the office, some days you're not, you're home, or if you typically are at home all the time, break down your day. Um, your, your clock goes off at seven o'clock. You actually don't get out of bed till 7.30. Then at 7 30, you jump in the shower, uh, get dressed, whatever. And then 8 o'clock, you're trying to, if you're going to the office, get dressed and getting your coffee, drinking it, going out the door. However, your day goes, write it down and, and step by step, write it down. And that's the only way we're going to be able to dissect how we can fix and interject the, um, um, the uh, willpower, how to change your willpower by changing your surroundings. So that's why we're going to break it down step by step so it won't be so long. And I've already went over 10 minutes on this one. See, that's why I told you <laughs> we're going to have to do this in segments. So before you watch the next video, just have that kind of broke down and really look at your day and think about that even all the way up to the time you go to bed. So the whole day and uh, then we'll discuss in the next video how we'll start breaking down those individual uh, areas and inter uh, getting that dissected for you so you can um, eliminate any of the temptations so that actually creates your willpower. All right, as always, uh, please, if you will, like, I'll write this down because I forget it every time, uh, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Um, comments are great, so it helps me to know if I'm going in the right direction. If not, um, if I need to revamp and just do something totally different. If you just want to see me doing recipes all the time, making things in the kitchen, that's that's fine. Just let me know. Uh, constructive criticism is always a plus for me. Um, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.